So importing inventory. So importing inventory allows you to use a spreadsheet that you can bring in multiple items with. And it makes it easier instead of having to manually enter the one at a time in the system. Now we do have a template that is available. And let me kind of show you what this looks like here. Because you do want to use this. We have a blank we can send you. You can either get this right off of uh, your sales rep or from support. We can send you a copy. But basically, it's, it's already laid out. It'll work. Uh, the main things you're going to be concerned with when importing in inventory is having a part number. You want to have a description. And you need to have a cost. Those are the three main things. Three main things. Now, if you want to import other things such as low points and high points, a grid, a size, a code, a manufacturer, you can do that. You can also bring in the MSRP, you can do cores, things like that. But at bare minimum, you need to have part number, description, cost. Those are the three. Now, if you're entering parts in here, you can even break it down by category if you wish. Okay, can make it a little bit easier. I just threw together a few numbers here and just put it under the oil one. It's no big deal. Okay. Let's close this up. So let's go back over and let's go import that in. So I'm going to go to setup. I'm going to go over to inventory. Inventory import. So if the thing I need to do now is go find that file. So we go find the file. There it is. Open. And now I'm going to hit next. So what do I need to do here? You notice see here brought up that first category oil. Well, what if I went to this category? See, there's nothing there, right? So that's all it is. Kind of open this up, make it a little bit easier. So I need to map the system. In other words, I need to map it and tell it what is what here, what column represents what. So this column is going to be my part number column. This is going to be my description column. I'm going to do a low and a high. And then I'm going to have my cost. So once I have everything mapped that I'm going to use, I'm going to hit next. I can even tell it which category to go to. So I want to go put this all in drivability since that's where that goes. Some of it, maybe not all of it, but some of it. And I can even put in who the default supplier is. Now, if I'm getting it from multiple suppliers or not sure yet, no big deal. Just hit none. And you can always set it later with the batch update. I'll hit next and start. Once it's done, it'll say completed. Hit close. Now, if I go over here to my drivability, and let's go look for some air filters. There they are. You see, there's one of them there. And then I can either A, one at a time, start setting them up, you know, go put in a default supplier, finish off, maybe put definitions in, set my selling prices, things like that. So that's where the batch updating really comes in handy. Now, if I want to pull up my cabin filter, see, I can pull that up. There's the three I just did. So now I just highlight them, go do a batch update, move them around, do whatever I need to do. Pretty simple, real easy to use. But you do want to use the template we furnish. Everything will format properly. And that's inventory importing.